awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I guess a thing that comes to mind is like, I'm wondering like how you approach shape. Like, I guess like, like melodic contour, but like as redistributed, like, I mean, there's a, a boring version of that question is like, how are you distributing pitch on the space? But the more interesting question is like, how are you conceiving pitch as a, a like a gestural space relative to your instrument? Mm. So like there's a, the technical version of the question, the poetic version of the question. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, so like, technically, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think this is like, uh, I forget. I think this is like a major scale with like a sharp four added. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's C major. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, and it like that just happens to fit 16. Like you can do that two octaves of that in okay. 16, like a, a four by four grid. Mm -hmm. um, so I have three of those. Um, and it's the same like octave, like you've got the same. And then I can move by like, um, I guess octaves. Okay. Yeah, yeah, up and down. Yeah. Um, and then if I want, I have like a, a little like schematic of a piano keyboard. Okay, right, yeah, So I yeah. can like change the note that plays if I want it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't love that. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like... In terms of the... Like... I don't love the whole interface, actually. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's mm -hmm. fine. Like, I can, I can be expressive on it, but um, it... Uh, I, like I grew up playing piano, so I could mm -hmm. like you know play any key I wanted whenever, mm -hmm. um, and I kind of missed that on like this version of the right. instrument. Yeah. Um, like it, I don't know. It was sort of like I'm so diatonic yeah, like, yeah. the whole time. Um, uh, except when I didn't know what note <laughs> <laughs> would, would happen, and then it was like, oh, this one's slightly sour. <laughs> Let's lean into that. You know. Um, uh, but like for shape, I don't know, like, um, right. Like most things are moving, like, I don't know, like a, like right. it's like more or less in the scale. So I know that moving left and then down. Okay. okay like yeah. Whatever. yeah like... So like, um, but actually what, what was sort of fun for like this and like the, the time, like the, I think the first time I got it all like wired up or whatever, like in code mm -hmm. and like was playing with it. What, what was fun was that it was like, um, I wasn't sure where the notes were. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's sort of fun. Yeah. Which, which like someone who came from playing piano and when I would play guitar, like there was an appeal to having different or random tunings because some of the physical shapes that you would learn now mean different things. Yeah, So yeah. you kind of, re like for one, repurpose existing patterns, but also renegotiate your relationship to pattern. Yeah. So like a gesture that would typically, I would know what that would sound like, would now sound a different way. And you know, we don't often have that with like, well, black, white key type orientations. Right. This, there's no uh, implicit yeah. meaning in terms of like what that would mean. So like it, you can kind of be a bit more free. That would be interesting to have like a MIDI keyboard remapped that way. That would yeah, really mess that would with be the brain. Yeah, that like... would be really wild actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Like this was sort of a, um, a purpose-built compromise so that I could get three different timbres mm. without like having to jump as far. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've like played a show with um, like more or less like the grid laid out as like like a, as a guitar string, like as, yeah, as yeah. a bunch of guitar strings um, going up and forths. Mm -hmm. um, and that actually taught me that I shouldn't be scared of guitar, which okay, was good. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, for this I was like um, also trying to like. Um, there's, there's, I think there's a feature here where you can sequence the sequencer, okay. um, which is sort of fun. Like, and I like did patterns of all. patterns? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, you did have some like patterny stuff, like I guess more towards the start. I, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, it, but I did, I did that. Like there were like recorded like loops, I guess, of yeah, yeah. like patterns that I'd played, um, which I don't know. I think I'm, uh, were, were helpful for me to be like, oh, there's not silence happening yeah. right now. <laughs> I mean, even with that, I guess maybe a question on like instrument design or like code designer, like, like how, you know, cause like, I remember when I was first from moving like from like a guitar or pedal or like uh, electronic oriented things to moving towards acoustic -y drum type things that silence became very frightening or specifically the fact that 
um, sound is only produced via direct gesture. So like yeah. if I, I hit a thing or did a thing, or even now, like like uh, yeah, I blow in a thing, like mm -hmm. this thing makes sound, and then if I stop, sound stops. Sound stops, right. Um, and then coming to terms with like a comfort in that and like like feeling fine with silence and, and using that as a parameter. Whereas I, I think like for some people that could feel very like, well, scary, like, oh shit, yeah. nothing's happening. Like, like how do you negotiate? Uh, also, the fear of guitars, like, is fear of silence like second on a list of fears? Like fears that I gotta. Overcome? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think probably. Yeah, I think or like, um, yeah. It's also like the. It's funny the like, um, like on it like the on a piano keyboard mm. like, all ten of my fingers can be doing something, but on here. Um, just because of the way it's laid out, like mm. I find myself like sort of hunting and pecking yeah. a little bit more. <laughs> um, so it like the trying to build up like a more pianistic, like more mm. thick texture, like um, requires the patterning, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, or me to like, yeah, yeah, really ah, stop, <laughs> <laughs> like contort. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's um, funny. Like, like we don't think like our hands are shaped really funny. Like you know, this yeah. is like. You know, they're like very different lengths relative to like a plane. And, yeah. you know, piano keys are correspondingly long to accommodate that. Um, but even still, like a lot of like learning piano is that negotiating that um, orientation and shape and angle that you have to kind of move your wrist around. Yeah. Whereas this, yeah, like, I mean, I guess you could map things in a way where like, it, like there's long more, yeah. columns, you know, but that, that wastes space in terms of like duplicate Number keys or whatever. Or whatever yeah. But yeah, so it's kind of interesting that idea of like, you know, like this sort of kung fu pecking yeah. versus like, you know, that kind of doing. And, and I guess, I mean, the vertical orientation, I guess, makes that even more like, mm, yeah, potentially, yeah. you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. If it were like, I mean, I, like nothing stops me from playing it like yeah. this. I just <laughs> learned how to play it like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess if it were like this, it's a little slightly less, yeah, kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I guess maybe like because you had I mean you did say like three timbres and I do remember like you did have like kind of like bassy things and uh -huh. there's some like buzzy things and then like melodic -y things like are these are these separate uh, yeah there's like three VSTs or whatever okay. I mean it's the same VST three times yeah, right? yeah. like different patches yeah and but they're like uh, placed like your the orientation and placement of how you do things is like the same for each of them they're just like on a different space on the grid or yeah 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 okay uh, yeah. and then i can yeah yeah so the, they're like sort of you can control them like independently mm -hmm. um, which is works right like yeah, you know, yeah i don't know like i'm um uh i think the thing that i like with like playing electronic music um coming from the piano i'm like oh i can like be really intentional and like produce every sound hmm. um uh, or I can be like really like sequential and like not produce any sounds like with direct touch and instead, you know, like sculpt them and like like sort of architect them instead. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't like being at either extremes with electronic music for some reason. Mm -hmm. I want to, and I haven't found the um, the balance between the two. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Even that interesting like that is it like a continuum of. Um negotiate like negotiating creatively and i guess is that something intrinsic to um like live performance versus like having you know infinite time to not infinite yeah, time but like yeah, when you're recording music sure. yeah if i'm like, recording then it I, like um i don't know yeah if i'm recording i think that the I'm, I'm a lot, it's a lot easier for me to reach for like, okay, let's like, you know, pluck, like click in these chords or yeah, something yeah. instead of playing them, even though I could play them. Yeah, yeah. Like, theoretically. Yeah. Um, yeah. And is that something that like, I guess if, if, as you feel more comfortable with performances would be, like, do you think that's a, a, a perpetual vector of interest? Or is that a, like a, a oh, function a of question. like a negotiation of an instrument? Or, or, I mean, this is kind of like a, 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 a questionless question but like yeah like is, is that like um yeah like is is there a resolution that i'm like, yeah. that i haven't found yet or yes. is it like the is that actually the, the play yes i yeah. don't know yeah. right yeah i think it could be either mm. yeah I, I find that kind of territory really interesting like the, uh, the this specific uh, like trajectory or vector is interesting but that specific like negotiating creative practice through vectors 
mm. you know, like a, a kind of a broader sense, like what 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 is of interest and what do you delineate and how do you articulate or separate or or negotiate however it may end up sounding or the 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 material that it produces but the the scaffolding the creative and mental scaffolding at play yeah you yeah know, is is i find really fascinating and particularly in talking to people like what what is of importance and what is of negotiation and what is of continua you know like yeah. all of that stuff is i think super fascinating so i mean for one i, I love these kind of conversations because like that like it's like oh like you know yeah what are you thinking about you know like it, it's basically a a grown-up version of like what, what, what do you, you know what do you like oh I like, yeah yeah, like, you yeah. Know. um yeah. But yeah so uh, it, yeah again another like kind of non-question but like a a more of a, a parallel shared fascination with um vectors creative vectors you know mm, um yeah, yeah. I, I saw um, Zoe Keating play live like maybe three weeks ago mm -hmm. um, for I think the third time. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Cellist. <laughs> um, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she plays cellist. She like loops it. Um, yeah. And uh, there's like kind of a like there's an like I was thinking of like watching her. Like there's kind of like an ethics to like her performance where she's mm -hmm. like, I'm only going to show you things that I have played right here, right oh, now. Oh, okay, yeah, like the. Yeah, yeah, like um, a kind of didactic. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, here's that piece, that that like riff that I just played like five seconds ago. Yeah. yeah. Or like maybe it's got like a, um, maybe it's like got a a little stutter to it, or it's like chopped yeah, some, up somehow. Yeah. Like, but but it's still the same, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I was thinking that like um, part of what makes that work is actually that the cello is acoustic, and so. If it were like still cello, but like pre-recorded, mm -hmm. the fact that it's not in the same space yeah, yeah. would like make it y your ear would know, you know, in a, yeah. in a way that like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so, how much of that is that like it would be, like, is that because it would make it like bad magic, like where you just like you like you can see the trick, or is it because it's like uh, like conceptually mm. not the same? So like like yeah, to kind of yeah. catch the question like I really like the idea of life sampling I do a lot of life sampling and like it's something that I like philosophically negotiating now as modulations of now overlapping the recent now and future now like like I like the transforming of now as a philosophical concept um, which tends to also mean it's the sounds that you just recorded you know just yeah. because that's intrinsic to the idea yeah versus like I I had like a loop of this I pre-recorded which I will now then play. So there's like, um, yeah, so like, is it, do you like the ethic, well, you mentioned the ethics of that, which is kind of an interesting term for it, but like, it, do you find it interesting because the, the philosophical part or the, like, because then you mentioned the, like, that you would be able to tell, like, mm. is it the, like, if you were able to tell that, oh, that was a, obviously that's a different cello or a different timbre or like, it's not in this space. Yeah, I guess it's like, there's, um, like the stakes are different for an acoustic instrument if you're mm. like um, layering it um mm -hmm. it, like just because it is acoustic um but i definitely agree that i am I, like i'm also interested in like um yeah manipulating the <laughs> the recent now yeah 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 <laughs> um the the show that i put this together for originally um i had another grid uh, that was like hooked up to dan's cheat codes mm. um and uh i don't know how that works still <laughs> but um like uh knew sort of just enough to get it like doing like sort of crazy like bits and snatches of mm. like what i just played um and and like a um a spoken word sample from like a tv show that i just okay. finished watching what show um the well what's it called um the midnight gospel oh i'm familiar oh it's so good it's like basically um a podcast Right. as a tv show okay like like dramatized or is in like kind of yeah okay. like the the whole each episode is like one long conversation between the like main character oh is this the duck and trussell thing yes, yes yeah yes. okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm familiar, yeah. yeah. Um, it's just like sort of like illustrated or whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's fantastic yeah yeah um, uh yeah so i like picked the one that i was like this one is the the best one yeah and i grabbed like the the intro and then like little snippets of like hmm. Um, the interviewee, I forget who, um, talking. Okay, yeah. And, and maybe just to kind of like riff on that, like what would be the, what's an unethical mm. Zoe Keating performance mm. consist of? 
Uh, <laughs> right, right. Uh, well, I mean, like, it's kind of like it. Uh, walking up and like having the everything set up, right? And then like there's there is the laptop on stage. Mm -hmm. That's but, already suspicious. Like, <laughs> yeah, and then like you come to find out that like it's like like she's you know doing the going through the motions. But, yeah, like, yeah. It, A okay. lot of it is coming from like, yeah, pressing yeah. play. Like a which lip syncy, yeah. Yeah, which I've performed like sort of um that way like mm. playing like one like singing because like the the song said words and um uh like playing the the the, the best riff from the track but then yeah. everything else is sort of like maybe i'm like you know launching clips or whatever yeah. but like for some of them i was literally pressing yeah. like launch this clip but the clip is the whole song yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and uh, for the audience, I think it worked great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's like, yeah, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you were on the other side of the ethical, like, like. Yeah, I know. felt, I felt like conflicted about it. Okay, you're right. But, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think that, like, anybody listening, like, mm. cared. You know? Yeah, I mean, with electronic music, particularly if there's like fixed sequences at play, like, it's like, um, I don't know how important it is to see the whole work of yeah. the, the proof or whatever like, like yeah you know, the, like it, the proof of work yeah, yeah yeah like you know like that i mean like i mean this starts getting kind of contentious but like there's an anthony braxton quote where the way that people would talk about specifically jazz um as uh i forget his wording or metaphor but like that like proof of sweat was something that was valued by music critics Ooh. in in a way that was like kind of racist and all that so that, uh -huh. that it gets a little unsavory but like the the work was valued in a different way in that context which again this starts getting kind of a spicy tangent there but the, the idea of like with electronic music particularly music that's produced or heavily produced it's impossible or impractical yeah. to yeah. show the work yeah you know so like what does performance of that music mean you right. know and like how much of it do you show and you know all that kind of stuff and some like sometimes what would be musically best is to hit play on that clip yeah but um what does it mean to perform that music you know like what do you communicate live is it different in some way that's performatively relevant? You yeah. know, like not needlessly different for the sake of variation or something like that. Like, yeah. And for that particular, I don't know, like, um, like for that particular set, like all of the songs that I played were, um, uh, like all of the synths or whatever, like I had made the synth. Okay, um, yeah. And like that was the constraint for the song was like, I'm going to use this like suite of synths that I made. Mm -hmm. um, and that doesn't translate, you know, like, yeah. it, like, unless I'm like, you know, standing up there, like, by the way, <laughs> which <laughs> yeah. like, who cares? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. So it was interesting to be like, on the one hand, really like have my hands in the guts of like yeah. the, the production in, in a way that I like didn't for these like yeah. TSDs. Um, but then like have the, performance of it sort of be like a more performance yeah yeah or more artificial. i mean with that one because i remember like beta post online and i remember like i downloaded and i clicked and i'm like oh let me because it's always nice seeing something and i was like okay hey, this this looks pretty pretty heavy and i was like all right i'll, I'll come back there. i think they're sitting on my laptop somewhere <laughs> yeah, where, yeah. like in a folder to look at at some point and all that but yeah, yeah it's, a little, it's, it's a mess <laughs> it's like because i don't know if, if i have like a kind of poetic-ish view of like that that is part of the performance as well maybe not that concrete mm. temporal performance of that place and time but the the work as it you have put it into the world the gesture of creation there can manifest as like a live mm. thing or the recorded thing or a sharing of the the tools used to produce it is like a kind of like all of it is the work yeah you know in some way or another yeah. um so like the you know in, in a poetic way like the, the physical performance like i'm now performing this in front of an audience is a subset of the totality of that experience or that um well that's really helpful yeah that's a, that's a big great synthesis for me because i feel like i'm often like um uh like with this like uh it was really hard for me to make a thing that makes music and not a thing that makes things that make music yeah <laughs> you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah totally. um like yeah like i mean it's running on my like little program that makes things that make things yeah. that make, or whatever <laughs> yeah um but yeah, it's like uh, I like what you said about like mm. um, the like the sh the sharing aspect and like the, mm. the that like 
being sort of a, I don't know, being at, at different places in the, the sort of creative and sharing process. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, rather yeah. than just like, here I am performing. Yeah, or I mean, it, it's a, a, a kind of a, a broader view, but like even that of like, like here, yeah, here's the recording. The recording is the platonic. This is the version. This is yeah. it. You know, or the this is the performance. That this is the ver. You know, yeah. like that. That I think is like very reductive in terms of like what, particularly now, like what what expression means. Yeah. You know, like this conversation, like like you communicating aspects of it is a, for me, additional aspects of expression of that work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. E even if we don't. Um, circle it or highlight as such like the even just talking about it I, I think I mean this gets quite poetic in terms of like how, how far we can push that as like a metaphor but I, 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 I think that's true you know in a certain extent so like the like decontextualize I think like well, that starts getting kind of tangential as well but I think some of that um, platonic view like like containered view of creativity is like a kind of a byproduct of commerce and, and like yeah. you know the capitalism at large and like like I need a thing to sell you so that thing has a beginning and an end and it's it tends to be a round thing or uh, a file with three a dot and three things at the end yeah. of it. If something... Although like they're they're like I mean we're also seeing that kind of explode a little bit like yeah, yeah. you know like Beyonce's like last album or whatever there there was like the Kellis sample or something that like got taken off. Okay. So there was like for a couple days it was oh. out in the world and everybody like heard it. Right. And then like. All of the, like, because they were all streaming it, right? They didn't buy yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then, like, there was some dispute. And so Beyonce was like, great, the sample's gone. And we're going to put this in thing here. And, like, we're going to change the interesting the final product. Yeah, this is like the, the, the Han Solo way. shooting first something. Like, some yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Is, yeah, like, interesting. Like, which... I don't love, I mean, I, I really don't love, like I, yeah. I liked the, the, for that song specifically, I liked the original better. Hmm. Um, and I also, uh, it felt like a rug pull a little bit, like hmm. the fact that like, you know, these huge artists can like give you a thing and then be like, mm, let me just tweak it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah. it's not getting the plays I want. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Interesting. Very strange. It'd be cool to, like to see like, um, I mean, it wouldn't be cool. This would be horrifying, but to, to like. <laughs> the gamification of that so like the track as as it's played like they you know because i guess like you the they way can like get the thing. stats or yeah yeah like, like you like... make the track slightly longer at different mm. times of day or something to, like, to oh. maximize probably you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like at commute times of day the tracks like 10 percent longer yeah either just like extra bits of music or just played slightly slower and then like you know oh, like that would be <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody Somebody's in California gonna do is that. working on like yeah, yeah. you know a horrifying version of this. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. Shall we play some more? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we just have to, have to figure out how to maximize the. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ooh, that's a fun one. Oh, and now it's less fun. <laughs>
<laughs> if you'd like to support the making of these videos, please join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.